Oh, I haven't put some lights on. One second. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I haven't put some lights on. One second. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I haven't... And we'll turn the meat spike and all of the stuff off. <sighs> I am definitely not with it to the. Hey. Everything's right with the world. Uh, so. Good morning, noonish, whatever it is. I've lost track. Uh, thank you for the sub, Tomo. It is much appreciated. Uh, good morning, Kinga. Uh, good morning, Archnin. Oh, how is everyone this fine, fine evening? And hello, Craig. How is you all doing? I've got some ships to pet tonight. Two different types of ships. Boaty ships and spacey ships. Uh, do, do, do. Just checking everything's working because it seemed to want to laugh its dummy out all over the place. I am a tickety boo, I think the phrase is. Um, good evening, X Wing Tavern Wars. Right, X Wing Tavern Wars. I may have made a little error in judgment. Hey, Cherry. <laughs> so, your nice shiny Prosgrave prize has arrived in America. Maybe it's to someone else by mistake. Um. But amazingly, um, he has said he will. Um, <laughs> can you contact Archnan and he'll forward them on to you? Um, so, <sighs> yes, I got it in the right country. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> shit. Um, uh, what's up? Hello, Jack. Yeah, uh, 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 hi Paul, how are you doing? Um, like, yeah, I, I just hope that everyone would know who X-Wing Tavern was, was, but, uh, so yeah, I've got you two confused on the shop, it's either you two have got conf, <laughs> it, it's either you two have got confused on the shop, or, um, They've got mixed up in the pile when we were sorting them. I can't think if I was sending anything. <laughs> it was a bit of a surprise. Woo! Shiny! Um, uh, connecting the community. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, wow. Well, um, I do really, really apologise. Uh, the only other thing, as I said, the only other thing it can be is when we do the parcels, they do get piled up on top of each other. And sometimes, uh, if there's been a mistake, you might end up with some random... If you end up with a wet palette, uh, Tavern Wars, let me know, because we've got someone else who has a wet palette that's gone astray. <sighs> it's going to be one of them months. I can sense it. <laughs> Um, and the fact that if you get the wet palette, just keep it because there is no point in sending it back over and it's just too much to do of the, the hassle sort of thing. Um, I'll find him another one. Uh, we don't even, I don't even think we have stock at the moment. I just need to know. Yeah, I am, I am human. I am infallible. Um, <sighs> If I've made a mistake, I hold my hands up to it. <laughs> if it's a, uh, if it was one of the uh, fire sprays, I did it. Ended up in the bin over there when I made a mistake. Yes, uh, I am looking forward to the end of the month, and hopefully that will. <sighs> and mark an end to. Um, let's just say interesting times and interesting 
Interesting times and interesting times. Let's just leave it at that. I really don't want to drag anything of what's going on into the lovely stream. So, painting. Hey. <laughs> You're a star arch, then I'll uh, let me know what I owe you and I'll sort it out with you. So, good evening, Ash. Welcome. Um, that's why I love you guys. That I'll, I'll sort you out something when I send some over next time. I promise. So we did a bit of a Lancashire bomber because we didn't get the Lancaster bomber. Um... <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, Paul. Um, so, yes, we've got the Lancashire bomber, not the Lancaster, because I've got the slight... When it's dry, <coughs> when it's dried, the greens and the browns haven't been exactly how I wanted it. But I'm going to have a look at that. Um, also, we have a request to go back and do some of the... Um, Victory at Sea. So that is tonight's thing. But, but what we also have tonight... And what colours was There was a grey as well. London grey. I don't know where I put my London grey. I might have actually took it up into the garage but I don't need it it was just a show Paul yes yeah uh, so so far uh, we'll just do a quick catch up for Paul so he knows what we've done the ships were sprayed in grey primer um, this was the London grey uh, which would work for quite a few of them. I just went down a, a slightly lazier route. I painted the wood panelling, uh, the decks, and I'll show you the colours that I used for that in a second. But um, I just washed it twice to get it slightly darker, and I'm quite happy with um, how it's come out. And obviously this is the Bismarck. So all I've done is painted the wood, painted the battleship grey washed it all in the brown and then my second layer of wash was nulling on other grey to darken the grey up and you can see there that this area of grey is a lot darker than this area of the grey so um the decking and this is from the vallejo sheets uh for uh oh it says on that Paint the ship deck with a mix of new wood and sand. So the new wood is one of the Panzer Aces colours. And hey Egan, how are you doing? And the sand is the air. We have both of these and the London Grey. <laughs> I knew it was there somewhere. Um, I didn't. I got a bit lazy. Um, that is just... Uh, the grey part, uh, my base grey primer, and then I've used it as the colour as well on these bits. Um, but I did brown wash it and then null and wash it to get it a bit darker. But <clears throat> what most people are doing is painting it with the London grey, which is that colour there, uh, which might actually highlight the dry brushing that I'm going to do in a little while. But we have all of them in stock, Paul. We got them off the sheets and we booked them. We basically got them in stock. Uh, yeah, London Grey, New Wood and Sand. They were the three that um, I had recommended on there. So, also remember, tonight... is the giveaway for this. The cutoff for donations is not 10 o'clock, it's half past eight. So you've got till half past eight to get your names into the pot to get that. So far at the minute, um, let's see who's leading the charge. 
he says, not getting to be able to lead the charge. Um, I'm watching you, Kinger, before you even start. Oh, there you go. I knew you would start. So, under the donations at the moment, Tavern Wars is in top spot with £20. Archinen in second with £15. Dead Stay in third with £15. Kinger, Mark and Ash all in fourth with six uh, with ten pound each and then will and ulfric um okay ash is definitely in the lead with something ash 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 has bumped it up to 30 pound and i think he's just pushed a load of yous out the bottom ah. <laughs> You started yesterday, King Up, but I think uh, Ash has just kicked your butt. Um, it will take a couple of seconds to liven up on that. But that is... I, I, I know that feeling, Egan. I think everyone's in the same position as you. So, I'm still thinking I may need to do... I don't know if that flat green was dark enough. So, anyone that has... Just going away from that for a second. Anyone that does have the um, Vallejo pots and stuff like that. Something that I do. Uh, Vallejo. Um, I've actually started to do it on my... Um, GW pots that I decant is just you don't need to brush anything just shake it up get it to the right colour and then just do a little smudge on the top so you get a good coverage of the colour what that does is when that dries you get to see what that colour actually looks, looks actually looks like rather than looking at it there and going oh is that is that the right green you can actually take it and go well that is the right green or it, that is not the right green which I'm going for in this instance um, so no I use my right hand um, so that's way too bright for what I want so I won't be using that clear over the top I have thought about a vortex. Um, you still, if you put it on thick enough, Kinger, it blocks out the colour underneath. It is quite a valid question, that. Uh, but yeah, if you blank out the... If you do it thick enough, um, it will just remove the colour underneath. Dark yellow. Dark earth. And oh, goblin green looks too. You know what? I really don't have a Lancaster bomber green. So. I'm just throwing stuff away. Don't worry about me. It's a different type of goblin green to the one um, that everyone's thinking about. It's Vallejo goblin green, which is slightly different. So what I'm going to do is slightly in reverse. Um, yeah, uh, I've never painted historical stuff before. Paul, um, I could paint you ten different types of blue ultramarine in different ways and stuff like that. I could paint all sorts, but I've never been. I had to buy all the paint for my tanks. I didn't have any tank color uh, tank paint colors, so 
yeah some of the colors i just don't have and it's easy for someone to say oh i'll just mix it on the pot um it's hard when you're taking it from a rgb screen to get the color how it should look so what i'm going to try and do is very thin coat yeah so and as i keep saying to tomo mixing is king so we already have the green on there so if i and i'm going to use it's very dark green very much like dark angel and what i'm going to do is it doesn't need much looking at the Lanchester bomber. So just taking it um, over that. So we were saying underneath and I wanted the, un the underneath to look um, dirty and grubby and used and that sort of thing so now you oh sorry now you see the greens coming in pretty well But I'm not actually changing any of the shading. It's just ch tinting the green that's already there. So if you were to do this over white, you would see hardly anything. But also if you're doing it over black, you would hardly see it because there's not that much going down. Um, that was straight in the pot, hopper, mate. I'm very lazy when it comes to this sort of thing. There is, uh, Angel, Angel Valderas does it in a little pot beside, mixes it to the consistency, and then goes from there. Um... Yeah, it's, um, hi, Mark. I'd say there's no wrong way and no right way. Um, so I'll just do this. And see what the uh, green looks like. But. that's better that's very much more Lancaster bomber green I'm happy with that and I've got a lot of paint there left over which is badly wasting paint but the other side of it is I think if you were to put that paint straight over the X-wing colors it would go too dark uh, it's because there's a green there already best camo ever yeah <laughs> so um i do need, need this thin so what i'm going to do is um show you what i do if i need to mix the paint in the pot kinger um i'm going back in with the green anyway paul so uh the green is the last one like i did last time i'll do the brown and then i'll go back in with the green to finish it off so you've got the pot i'm going to put a couple of drops of the thinner in there um then we've got the dark earth <laughs> yeah, um, and then 
drop some in. Now, with my mouth full of... That brown does look rather... Mm -hmm. Should have looked at this today. So, being careful not to damage the needle, if you hold the tip, just the tip, um, and put a little bit of pressure over where the paint would come out, release the um, pressure, you see it bubbling? So it basically blows back air and it bubbles through. Um, some painters use that all the time. Um, some painters will just do that, use a brush. But if you think you've got paint deep inside it, or thin as deep inside it, yeah. Um, oh, what's he called? Kenny Boucher uses it all the time. Gangster gumbo back flush method, he calls it. And then when you go to paint, always do a f small bit first or on something like a cloth or on a piece of cardboard because there is a chance that you will have um, oh what's it called you'll have thinners or you'll have um, yes you do have to be careful but you also um, it helps understanding what's going on in the pot the bottom paint's going to be lighter so the blowback method actually has happened to me without uh, me intending to do it Um, I've pressed it to do it it hasn't worked I've pressed it a bit harder and then all of it's come out very messy so this paint's very thin I think it's a bit too thin. But it looks the right colour. A lot better than um, Yeah, a lot better than the cream brown that we had in that. Right, I'm gonna empty that out. It's too thin for what I need. I think I don't think I should have thinned it. That's something else. Don't be afraid of wasting paint. If you don't feel it's right, throw it out, start again. Um, this is air paint, so technically it shouldn't have been. Um, it shouldn't have really needed it to come out. There we go. Oh, that distinctive smell of um, Vallejo air paints. Yeah, we've got loads more control over it now. You can see the wet patches building up of where the new paint's going down.
So, you'll be able to see it do it a lot better on here. Um, I used to wear gloves, but yes and no. That's a lot better. Uh, we send mail out every Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, mate. So, they will be shipping their way to you tomorrow. Some days we only get half a dozen orders um, in like a Monday and a Tuesday. So sometimes even Wednesdays do go a bit by the by. It's just sometimes it's quite a distance to go to the post office. And during lockdown we we have tried to keep it as limited as possible. There we go. But it's definitely going out tomorrow, mate. Yeah, I'd, we picked it up off uh, Harlequins when they used to do the shipping. They do the same. Unless they've got a big release like Pokemon or something like that where they're having to do it every day. Um, we do, we've done basically the same as they've got set up. There we go. So... And as you can see, the wash is still showing through quite quite nicely, actually. Um, so, that's done. Brown's done. As you can see, I've gone back over the green a little bit too much. So, I will now go in one final time with the airbrush. with the green. Catch you soon, Egan. Um, it was the dark green, dark green. Right, I don't need much of this cause Get the brown out. There we go. Back to the green. So what I'm going to do is come in very close with it. Closer to the colours instead of the sandy brownie colour. So 
So all doing going back in with the green is strengthens the green colour itself. But it also if you feel like you've gone a little bit too far with the brown, it gives you a second chance to pick up the the areas that you would like um, doing in the green. might benefit from another light wash um, so but as far as the uh, the green and the brown and the camo that'd be done so I'm gonna give it five minutes to let the airbrush paint settle before I actually throw a wash on it which will give me a chance to do some ships. Um, not sure which ones you're missing at the moment. I think the graph, if you've got the graph, sp the graph spare and the other one, um, we haven't been able to get the. Uh, submarines and stuff yet um, so they will be soon right so what I'm going to do with the Bismarck is find the softest dry brush I've got which is one of our fluffy ones yeah perfect um, I'm going to try Dawnstone I don't know what am I shaking it for? I'm going to try Dawnstone dry brush paint first. Um, not much on the brush. And using again a paint cloth to clear it off. Um, the brushes I use for dry, uh, the cloths I use for dry brushing, uh, they're not your standard blue roll. They're quite strong and um, quite fibrous. So. Just going over it what this is actually doing is before you put the highlight on is it's picking up um, so the decking at the front I just painted all brown whereas if I quickly rub the dry brush over it and this is very lightly I'm not applying much pressure at all so you get the grey coming through and it's just a little bit of grey it's not overboard um, but I've gone for the very very lightest fluffiest brush I've got because of this um, and there's hardly any on there was none on there uh, so again No, it's it's quite a um, I wouldn't say it's more expensive. I just think you you're buying a lot more to start with, which was one of the things that I saw. But even when you're buying a lot more, um, I am starting to prefer games where you've got to do a little bit of work to get them. To this standard and put them on the table and play with them sort of thing um, gamers grass is on its way um ash we have a few other um items coming as well so yes um that they've not we've not hit them yet we have spoke to warlord and they do have a we're going to sell all of our stuff for a week before it goes to uh retailers um which to be honest i'm not sure why half the other companies out there don't do the same 
Um, yeah, it's one of those weird ones. But yeah, I agree with what Warlord do, and I think other companies should do it. Um, but I also think other companies should be. Oh, I got bent bit. Uh, I think a lot of companies out there should be working together instead of stabbing each other in the back. Uh, that is just a personal um, observation, but yeah, it's not nice out there, out there at the moment. Um, so for a final colour. I'm going to just put a bit of white um, on here. Hey, Snowy! At Look! I've started it. So, what I'm going to do is, on the... On the pad and um, that's where I rubbed the grey off there so I've just dipped a bit of white on there and I'm basically rubbing the dry brush till it all comes off but over the without sticking my finger in it over the grey area so it does a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of white but it also drops in the grey Oops, sorry. And this again, it is very, very light dry brushing to pick up the guns, to pick up the the batteries down there, the crane, the crane's picked up lovely. And just light, nothing. Turn it round. Personally, other than the water, which I'll get on with, these aren't far off done. For, this isn't far off done for me. It's great gaming quality. You can actually see where the light has. Uh, the dry brush is picking up the light bits. Um, there's nothing really much to catch below the water line. But if you run it down that edge, you get a bow line, quite a defined bow line. Is it bow line? Or, yeah, I think it's a bow line, which picks up and it looks cool. But obviously where you can't get it, like a gun there, it actually looks really cool that underneath it's dark, so it looks as though it's casting shadow. Right, and then what I'm going to do is, with the white that I've got left there, is basically I'm doing it as if the sun's coming down that way. So just pulling it towards me, just ever so slightly picking up all of the top edges in one, one direction there and a bit extra on that side. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that, how clear it is. I guess Tom's telling me how much uh, X-Wing stock I'm getting this weekend. Uh, which I can't see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, Z, ETA, Droid, HMP, Droid. Oh, I do. I haven't got a Z yet. Yes! <laughs> no, the, the sea is very murky at the moment. 
I think it's just docked in the T's. Did you say you had any Thai brutes in that? I didn't. I've missed some of it, mate. And I can't scroll back up. Plimsoll line. I've got Django, Droid, Droid, ETA, Z. <laughs> so that's basically that. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I'll uh, I'll beg, borrow, and steal a couple from somewhere. I'll wait for the reprint. I guess the bloody reprint. Um, haven't tried this water texture yet, so. If anyone hadn't guessed, we're getting X-Wing stock in a split down. More of it. Um, I know we haven't had any for a while. Um, but we are getting some bits and pieces back in. Cool. I know we have been lacking it for some time. But it's just been one of those ones where... Nothing seems to sell from it, which is disappointing. But hopefully, right, I need a good Pacific blue or a, a new blue color. Um, okay, smarty pants, just because you weren't here for the start of it, that's an X, well, it's a K wing, but it's an X wing ship, and we've been painting it today. Poof. Disgraceful, I tell you. It's definitely a specific blue. Smart ass. Um, I'm going to go with magic blue. Yeah, there probably is, but I'm just going to go with what I've got available close by and to hand. Um, all of those things. And then if it works... It's cool. If not, when it matters, I can repaint over it a little bit. Yeah, that's that's the colour I was wanting, Mark. It is a very bluey blue. Um, and that's going to be a very bluey blue as well, which is the water. And thank you very much, Tom. I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll look. It depends where you go. And which side of the fence you're on. Because it's always greener on the other side. And if he can do crap jokes, so can I. Um, so, oh, there we go. The Bismarck is now in blue. It definitely depends where you're looking at the sea, because I remember from history that there was a green, a, a red sea as well, but that didn't ever seem very red. So yeah, um, this is just magic blue, Vallejo magic blue, and um, seems to be very close to the blue I was looking for as well. What if you're on the top of the fence? You, well, you're definitely not me because it would just collapse. Uh, what I'm going to do is not go right to the edge because I'm going to use the um, water texture to do that. Mm -hmm. 
painty painty blue seas yeah I wasn't going to do the sea blue on the top but um, when we did the other bits for um, oh, what's it called uh, dystopian wars it was it, it sh you could see through it quite a bit um, and I was like a bit a little bit disappointed with the I need to do a bit more work on it to get the colours how I want but the other thing with this um, pot there the gel it actually goes glossy so it looks like water it does look cool And the bit that we tested disappears forever to be hidden under blue. There you go. The Bismarck on a sunny day. It's quite thick, it's spreading out really nice there. There we go. Blue sea! Uh, probably doesn't have any cars shoved in it, that's why, and there's no oil coming out of the engines. So I'm hoping that under here there is still a plugged in hairdryer. So we have the giveaway in in forty minutes. Oh, it's not plugged in. Why is the rum gone? Um yeah, so it's for the full starter set. Um, which is behind me the hunt for Prometheus <laughs> Ma, uh, Mr. Stander you should know exactly why I have a hairdryer it's for my back hair like you've got It's not going to sink, Ma. Not till it's had a go at the hood. Just remember a waxed Wookiee. Yeah, when you're playing with resin, you can actually get it to warp if you're not careful, if you're using heat. Um, just remember to put a little bit of pressure on it in the middle so it doesn't warp too bad. There we go. Right, so this is Atlantic Blue. Um, did the Bismarck ever go to the Atlantic? So 
So this, it, it is a gel. Um, and it does go on. If you do this onto a flat surface, you get the waves uh, done for you. So this adds um, a whole new level of waves to ones that already have the waves. And I know you can't see it because a lot of it is very clear. So it is going to have some of it shining through. Uh, some of the blue underneath showing through. Um, bit of wake, bow wake, or whatever it's called. Choppy seas. So this has got a green tint to it. I just don't think you can actually see it. Um, not sure, Paul. Oh cool, it's got the right colour water for when it sinks. I'm just not going near France. That's how it works, right? If I don't go near France it'll never sink. thing with the gel is it does take a while to go off as well it's not one that you would stick the hairdryer on do is some waves. Um, once that's dry you would then go around it with uh, they do some spray form and it's not spray it but it's the the white form that you would get from spray. I have a pot of it somewhere. I'm just not sure where I've thrown it. Placed it. Let me. Yeah, let's just say placed it. Oh, I do actually. So um, this is the form effect, and it's basically the. It's like a white, bit fluffy, and I'll just go over all that. If you don't have that sort of thing, you're talking about just doing a very light dry brush in certain areas. That will, um... yes, Paul, it's sort of, there's a couple of ways to do it. If you don't have that, I don't think I've got stock of it because a lot of people have gone out and bought it for the new Battleship games that they're buying into. Um, then, it's a case of just a white dry brush. Um, and then where it says Bismarck there, you go over it very gently and very carefully with magnified glasses on, um, which I'm not gonna do till the water effect's all done and the dry brushing's all done. But that's basically how to paint the, the boats, they're quite easy to do. Um, tabletop standard, probably in an hour. Not 
in count not counting all of the um, the drying time for washes and stuff like that so I'm gonna go for a light Agrax wash on the K-Wing Where did I just put that brush? There it is. Brush of many talents. And let's have it in a pot holder so I don't. it is only a light coat there is shading because we didn't go too thick with the colors over the last time we did it and there is a couple of bits of shading still quite happy um, showing through engines I'm not too fussed about because they're gonna get um, gunmetaled or maybe black um, probably black to a dark grey maybe it's London grey um, and it's just to fill up the lines and get your shading get your detail in um, and there you go you have most of the work for your shading and highlighting oh, low lighting even um, done in a quick jiffy as it were I hope Snow is happy with that effect Right, where are we? We are at eight o'clock. Um, should we have a look who's where on the uh, old Twitch scale? Uh, on the donation scale? So we have Ash out in front with £30. Uh, we have X Wing Tavern Wars in second with 20 Archnin in third. And Dead State in fourth, both on fifteen. Kinger just sneaking in on fiver uh, on ten pound in fifth, and Mark is still in there in, on sixth. We have Will and Ulfric on five pound each, uh, and that's all we can see at the moment. I think if I had the proper colours, Snowy, um, maybe he's bought the the, RAL, the correct RAL colours, it would look look a lot better. But we ended up, you'll have to have a look back at yesterday's. Um, it didn't come out anywhere near where um, it should have been, sort of thing. Uh, the blue is really nice on that. I am, I am liking my Bismarck. Bismarck. Uh, I need to do a magnetic base. So, do I have any more base parts? The large bases? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll choose that one. Uh, that one can go for one of the other ones. So it has that on. I just need the. Uh, is the nuts? <sighs> you know what? Attack. That's all pinned. That's all of that stuff. Blue basing magnets red grass modeling. 
modeling. Could it be in the modeling drawer? A modeling drawer. Um, nope. That side's all final. later uh, do I have one on a ship somewhere I do I'm just gonna steal one from another ship for now oh do I have one on another ship I don't think I do Oop. oh wait I'll have to find some dorm nuts uh, I think I've run out there's a high chance of running out. But, K-Wing, okay, we'll go on that. Oop. The, the blue paint that I did underneath is game color Magic Blue, uh, 72021, and then I did Atlantic Blue over the top of it with the texture paint. I don't think Donate works anymore, Mark. I think it is. Is any of the things working? Um, tip? Just the tip. That's the one. So yes, uh, a quick two minute refresh while we're doing this of what is up for grabs tonight. Uh, medium uh, painting. So that is the complete box set. The Hunt for Prometheus. Uh, we've painted half of one of these. We did that half on the stream. But you get a lot of ships in there. There's three of the big resin ships. You get the full rules and gubbins set for... I think it's nearly... It covers nearly two players, uh, what you get in there. Two damage decks, so you can properly play a two-player game. It's not like X-Ring, where you get one of everything and you have to share it sort of thing. Um, it does come through as both. Um, electric Blue... Don't think electric blue's too far off it. But the thing is, Paul, it's the yours. Just do with them as you want. Um, if you do that electric blue and then the arctic blue over the top, you will get the colour. Um, if you like it, then that's going to be the colour that you use for all of your ships. It, there's no right and wrong. There's no one going to say that, oh, that's three shades too blue, That that that's totally the wrong colour. I might actually do a wash on it uh, to give it some depth. Or do I just have it? Um, do I just have it like that, let it dry, and then... Yeah, I think the white on it would... Uh, Oh, thank you for the donation, Mark. That is much appreciated. <laughs> uh, it doesn't show it's coming back for people. Oh, much sadness. Um, let me just, I need to wait for a re, oh, the refresh has gone through, I think, yep, so, we have Ash on £30, X-Wing Tavern Wars on £20, Mark on £15, Dead Stay on £15, Archnin on £15, Kinger on £10, Will on a fiver, and Ulfric on a fiver. So, 25 minutes and counting. 
Uh, oh, we found another game for you to get involved with, Ash. <laughs> um, it's not heavy on the bank balance either, trust me. Uh, it is ridiculously cheap. Cheap like a budgie. Yeah, King is always out. Um, from what I can tell, you can buy and paint this entire army in a day. And if you had a printer, you could also print it all out. Um, watch this. Snowy. Oh, I've just noticed that. Um, how cheap is it? Um, <laughs> some of the units that I've just bought, uh, King has snuck himself back in there as well. Um, I even think you could do it in, um, yeah, full army, 40 quid. Units for the armies were like, I think I've seen some for £3.50 for a complete unit. It's, yeah. So, for anyone out there that this may seem very, very cryptic, um, we've been looking at Kings of War for quite some time. Um, and Kings of War... <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so, uh, it's actually probably cheaper to do these than the googly eyes off e Amazon, mate. Um, so, yeah, we've been looking at Kings of War for a while. And one of the things was, obviously, building an army is a couple of hundred quid. And a lot of... Yeah, it's snowy. That this is square in Snowy's camp. This one. Um, so, Luke from um, Geek Gaming Scenics, Luke's affordable paint service. Um, he did a, a quick thing on. He bought some STLs. He printed the STLs at ten mil, and he did a Kings of War army. Since then, it has exploded. Um, we will. We've been looking at doing it for a while, but we didn't get any sort of momentum going or anything like that. Yeah, I wouldn't be in this community if I didn't enable now and again. <sighs> so these war bands are 10 mil scale. And you could fit a huge army into a Tupperware tub. And you can also have a huge um, battle on something not not much bigger than an A2 board. Uh, and we've been looking at it. There's a local group of people that are doing um, metal minis from Pendraken, uh, just around the corner from us. So I've ordered a couple of bits from them. There's people doing resin on uh, resin printed stuff under license. There's loads out there. Snowy's found some, um, can't remember the name, but it is dirt cheap. I'm not kidding, Ash. Um, you would be all in uh, for 40, 40 quidish. And you, you can buy a unit, buy a unit, oh, one unit, paint them up. And the units are like, I've seen, we've seen units for like three and four quid. Um, but with it being Kings of War, when you make a base, if you go to Pendraken and buy... Um, like I did, I bought 25, I want to say direwolves, but I don't think it was, but 25 direwolves, only three of them go onto a base, so it was like 12 bases, 10 or 12 bases, uh, probably 10, 10, 15, probably more, 18, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12 or 13 bases of direwolves, for a fiver. Yeah, and they do a full army deal as well. If you just want to go and get an army deal for 27 quid. 
Um, they do take a little bit of time to come because it's um, cast to order uh, and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, and you've basically got everything you need to start. Some of the bits and pieces um, are available on eBay as well. We I've just picked up a Vampire Counts army, huge army um, from a lad that's doing resin printing. Um, and he's doing resin printing licensed from Forest. Some, oh, God, what they're called. Come on, Snowy. Enlighten us. Forest. Forest. Okay, I've got Forest Gump coming up. Um, that's definitely not the forest uh, that I was thinking of. And we've already had that one. <laughs> Um, yeah, Forest Dragon, that's the one. Green Forest Dragon. Um, no, it's just Forest Dragon. Green Rovers. Uh, there you go. I will even uh, and he does a patron on there as well so we've backed one of his um, glade merchants or someone that actually um, prints under license from him so I've bought the vampire counts army he has a forest uh, Wood Elf Army, a uh, Vampire Counts Army. I think he's still going on with. Is he still doing? How oh, is that humans he's doing? Um, there's some really nice. I think this is a human set that he's working on as well. But the minis are so detailed, it's unreal. Green for if it's painted green. Wow. <sighs> Big sigh. <laughs> but yeah, um, the one that I went with was just there's a dragon. Oh, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, it is very cool stuff. And as I say, that was what probably one of the. Well, yes, you are, because it, he doesn't do dragons. <clears throat> so you can't paint it. It's a it's a winged terror. So, yeah, a few of us have looked at this because it, it takes nothing to carry around. You can throw an entire army in a very small bag and take it with you wherever you go, including a load of scenery, <coughs> which now he needs to start looking at next. Um... <laughs> But yeah, it looks, I don't know, it's, it's something that, for some strange reason, um, I wasn't very interested in Age of Sigma. Uh, Snowy will tell you. I got a bit of a buzz when the Vampire Counts were announced. I didn't think that we would be... Uh, I'm just hoping that we do get a Vampire Counts, because I'd probably end up um, going with the Vampire Counts a bit more than just um, Ronan's printing the scenery. Cool. Um, I'll have to get some. Yeah, I would thin the... I know uh, the Azul Blue ink is very... Um, It'll stain a lot of it. So give it, thin it down just with a bit of medium or uh, thin as a water, a push. But just get it all, um, just get it nice and flowy. It's gloss anyway, so once you put it on, it should uh, flow really well. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm also very 
uh, hyped now for the vampire counts coming out from Age of Sigma. Um, I may go down the route of doing a vampire count army for Age of Sigma and doubling it up within um, a full size Kings of War, 28 mil Kings of War. Just Snowy has this amazing idea about um, making some bases that these can go into and come out of if needs be. Um, so, I think that's a little bit too big, Lee. Let's have a slightly smaller one. But I'm about after this. Ash, if you want to have a quick chat about it, but uh, yeah, that'll work well. So what I'm doing is just with this is um, exhaust manifold, and I'm doing the exhaust manifolds. Um, it's Vallejo's color. We've still got dampness around it, so I'm trying not to go where any of the washes well Kings of War seems like a really fun game um, and they're one of these companies that go hey here's the rule set the rule set's not cheap unless you've got the PDF version of it and then they basically go you know what guys, just use whatever models you want. You don't have to use uh, our models. We do them, we'd like you to use them, but if needs be, there's a lot of models out there, go and use them. Um, and it gives a lot of ability to, <laughs> it gives a lot of, it gives a hell of a lot of uh, scope to do weird and wonderful um, bespoke armies because as we've been seeing no matter what you do you can fit them into <coughs> basically any of the kings of war armies that are there there's something that will fit uh, and you can, or you can make it fit there's a forces of nature one that basically takes anything there's um, lots of undead options um, and something Snowy is going to absolutely pee himself about any second now is when me and Ronan were sorting the uh, packing up tonight um, I may have unearthed so all of this we've got a lot of Pendraken stuff uh, in stock uh, a lot of sick uh, a lot of 10 mil stuff Ooh, come on Lee uh, in stock to go up on eBay, and obviously there was some bits and pieces that Snowy was interested in, so we sorted Snowy out some, um, and I was almost certain that um, there was someone dead because I'd found bits and pieces, but for the life of me, I couldn't find it. And then I've just picked a box up tonight, uh, looked inside. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, do you know what's even funnier, Snowy? The box is full of painted stuff. So I've not only got loads of stuff already, but there's loads of painted bits there. Of undead. I swear he's sat there chuckling like mad now. So, jets are done. The, um, the little guns are done. I've done all the tips of all the rockets. I've done the exhaust bits. What I'm going to do now... Yeah, but I've already... I've just bought a load as well now.
So I'm doing the canopies. So I'm just painting the whole canopy because um, when I drop in whatever colour, green or red, um, in the gem paint to make it really stand out, then the outer edge still remains silver. Which is cool. And it means you're not faffing trying to get um, really thin bits of wiry cockpit to um, try and well try not to go over the edges and stuff like that and hitting the red or the green clear again having to start again or so once they're in they're in you've done everything the silver's done and you're pretty clear to go I'll show you oops So I'm just rubbing off the bit where I've there you go, cleaned it. Yeah. Um Ash might buy some. I haven't bought any of the um, oh, what are they called the. I'm not signed up to any of the patrons yet. I want to see what they're like when they come, and then uh, take it from there, sort of thing. It might be doable just to give this guy a tenner every now and again to get a handful of the new stuff or bits and pieces that I need. If that makes sense. Um, If he's going to have the things in for the same price as the STL, then, yeah, it might be. Do you like, yeah, because I believe you've bought more than enough orcs for a couple of people. Seems to be drying as well quite nicely. So I was going to do the um, the British Randalls over it, but a few people have said, "Why don't you just put um, oh, rebel symbols where they should be?" So I was considering it. I'll have a look. Um, I'd I'd need to print them out. I don't have any. Or do I have any free? <laughs> Probably about 10 mil then. Let me have a look if I've got a 10 mil. Randalls. Yeah, the run the that ramble things. Ah, Sith. Not Sith. Not doing Sith. Uh, scum. Rebel and Imps. Yeah, I don't have anything even close by the looks of it. Yeah, they're way too big. Um, the 
there's not even enough space to put it on half and half so I'm not freehanding I've got to put this up for sale afterwards I'm crap at freehanding and art and all that sort of crap um, I've got 10 mil imperial ones and the imperial ones would fit um, uh, I'm going to do the cockpit while that's I'm going to do, what color, red or green? Red. Where is the red? And where has the red gone? The problem I've got, Paul, is my free hand at the best of times is quite shaky. So, unfortunately, it is. Oh, has, has Kinga just sneaked a bit in there to uh, push himself back in? He has. What was the penalty that we decided for doing shenanigans like this? Um, minus five pound off um, the score. So I'm using Spirit Storm Red. Uh, for some reason it has just come through. Which is lucky because we have three minutes left if anyone else wants to chip in and try and push the totals. Technically, Technically, you, you, you're thirty pound off the um, tall. Disgraceful. see that uh, close up so you can see oh that's chatting that's definitely not close up ah, now I've got red paint all over my fingers yeah they, these are on a good day, they're a £75 box set. On a bad day, they're £90 box sets. Um, and there's none in it. Uh, War Cradle at the moment, so I can't get hold of any more. So they're quite a sought-after box set. There we go. So if you've seen that, I've just filled, just dabbed it on, have caught the edges at times. I just rubbed my finger over the silver edging, and that takes off the red because it stays. This red stays liquid for quite some time, so you can get rid of the. Uh, uh, the excess quite easily. And what I'm going to do is check now um, we're at 120 so there's been no change let me have a quick look once I've done the red dots so all the missiles are complete there we go So do cool. That red's all done. Right, 
Right. I don't know where to put that. Uh, put that there. Going across the pots of paint. Let me have some glasses on. Um. Do, 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 do. So the final. scores on the doors is there is definitely a d6 worth of people itchy ear you're very itchy ear um, the numbers are as follows I don't know how this is going to show up in here uh, number one ash number two Tavern Wars. Uh, oh, there we go. Two Tavern Wars. Three is Kinger. Four is Mark. Five is Archnin. And six. Is Dead Stay. So we've got the lucky D6. I need someone to roll it in. I'll keep taking the uh, the rolly thing to the uh, garage. Oh. I have a, con a Johnson's cotton bud tub lid because I needed to clean the airbrush. So we've got Johnson cotton buds. Let's just see if it works. This is not, I repeat, this is not the roll. So, I, I picked it up before it had even stopped rolling, so it's fine. I was just seeing if it bounced okay and if it didn't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even I didn't see what it was. So, are you ready? It's an arrow. Sorry. Right. Uh, D6. Um. It wasn't a number. It said stander. Yeah. So, good luck to all of you. The arrow. It was pointing to me. So, does that count? Anyway, good luck, everyone. Um, and yes, even though we haven't met it, I will give it away to the person who gets this number. Or who is this number. So, three, two, one. Um, the number... <laughs> um, what was that, Ash? <laughs> you saw it, it was a what? <laughs> <laughs> so um well done ash um best of three <laughs> see that that was x-wing tavern wars till he pe pipped him at the post tonight um <laughs> oh, we've enabled Ash. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to double check something. Yeah, it does go up with the numbers as well. I'm backed up, yeah. So, yeah, well done, mate. Um, you, you can do a... Guys, it was a fix. <laughs> Um, it's because you cause all of the trouble going, Kinger, to, 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 to.
two, three. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Are you happy now? Bloody GW dies. Yeah, that's fine. Let's call it the 15. <laughs> thank you, Echo. Uh, thank you, Archnin. And I do apologise yet again, Echoing Tavmores. That is badly. Bad, badly. At least I can't get this one wrong. So, next month. We don't know yet. Um, we are torn between a few things. I can't paint Amada. Um, it's this very similar to X-Wing. People get um, very bored of painting Gris ships all the time. Infinity is possibly one of it. Yes, Mark, X-Wing may be on the table. Um... I just need to know when certain things are going to come up. Um, X-Wing may get pushed to next month for obvious reasons. Um, we might be able to we might be able to play some games next month if um, a certain defender comes out. <laughs> Rolling five twos on the trot. Well, yes, the infin. We have looked at the infinity, um, and the infinity is stuff that I would want to spend a lot of time over. I have a couple of things. Um, I showed you last night. We have the Cromlech. Um, the weird boy from Cromlech to paint. Uh, they've sent us that over. Um, and I want to do, as I said before, I want to do a grim dark version of it. Um, so, a bit like Eisenhorn. Uh, so, I want to paint that. And um, Broken Toad have come on to us. And uh, when I was over there picking up some brushes on. Um, uh, Monday, uh, the click and collect option. I got gifted a Guardians of Argo Agat model, and that model is absolutely beautiful. So I've got a couple of things that I would love to paint. He's he's twenty eight mil. So, but I just want to paint him like I've done before. Um, and he is seventy five mil. Ash, so he's a little bit bigger, and I think um, Chris has given us it because I've been wanting to improve my painting. Um, yeah, March Madness. Um, the giveaway. <sighs> giveaway. What can I do as a giveaway that would get people's in interest peaked? Um. Um, I'll announce something on Wednesday. Um, and let people know on Wednesday what, uh, basically you'll, you'll get everything at once. Uh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I think having a, a chat to Ash and Snowy and see what we can come up with and what we've got. We have a couple of little things on the back burner that we don't know whether we're getting bits for. If some of those bits were to turn up, um, I would be laughing tea cakes. Um, but I'd like to do some of the, uh, the what they called, the uh, 10 mil stuff from um, uh, Forest Dragon. If some of his stuff turns up, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to paint it on stream 10 mil, pal. 
um, that could be quite teeny tiny. Um, I don't know, should work, possibly, maybe. Uh, I'm just having a look to see what we've got due in. We do have the big X Wing drop at the end of the month for. Um, Oh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, Vader and all of his ties and stuff like that. So, with any luck, uh, that should be a a cracking one to have. Yes, I've had a look at um, today's releases. They look fantastic. Uh, Cursed Town, a uh, Cursed City is next month, I believe. Ash, um, they've not given an exact date for it, but we also have the Vampire Counts, uh, not Kill Team, the other one. Underworlds, the four Vampire Counts in that one as well. That I am looking forward to. Um, I wouldn't mind uh, getting them to paint and get them painted on the stream. But I can't see anything else that is massively imminent. Uh, there's nothing for Legion due. Uh, no, Legion, 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 Legion. Uh, oh, there's a Callus coming soon and whoever else was with him. He's an Imperial, so I might, um, yeah, I might have that one. Um, X Men Mutant Insurrection. No, I've been asking for ages about it. Uh, Sept. Oh, I can't discuss the dates. Um, I did get some information on a, a Reddit post. So we do know Callus and the other one are due soon. Who oh, who's coming out with Callus? Not Kanan. Yes. Uh, is it Lando? And uh, Lando. So yeah, those two will be coming soon. Um, I think they're next month as well. So, I, as Kinga said, I might do March Madness, do different things each week, um, and that might give me the chance to do the X-Wing. Um, if we don't have a focused month this month, we can save something up and we can have a, a chat about it. But according to uh, the Reddit post that came out with the leak on it, we have Yoda coming out in um, Yoda is coming out 23rd of July Wookiees are coming out 23rd of July uh, Fluttercraft 23rd of July Infantry Support Unit I'm not sure what that is yet uh, for the 23rd of July then Tactical Droid Commander Expansion for the September 17th uh, and then the uh, Persuader Class Tank Droid Unit uh, September the 17th Dwarf Spider Droid Expansion Unit is September 17th and then the Magna Guards IG-100 Magna Guards Expansion on September the 17th so uh, yeah it could be a turret it could be some sort of emplacement or stuff like that but that's the whole year's release of Legion by the looks of it. Um, we do have the tank. We have the... The Lat and the other tank that have been spoiled. Um, but a lot of this... I've still got... Um, we've Tonight we've just done a, a quick... Uh, if anyone's on... Um, our Discord. Uh, I'll swap it over here. We have done a. Uh, that's one. 
um, uh, a sale. So we've done about 35 items. Uh, some of it's Legion, some of it's um, Marvel Crisis, and some of it's Monster Apocalypse. And we've put it all up starting at 99p a thing. Um, and it's a bit of a uh, freeing some space, so to speak. So there's a lot of bargains in there. Every pack is north of 20 quid. Um, there's even a Commander Rex in there. A Clone Captain Rex, sorry. So if anyone's wanting to grab any bits, they're on a 10-day auction, which means uh, everyone should have been paid by then. <laughs> um, so they end on Sunday the 7th, um, a week on Sunday. But we have Padme, Darth Maul, Republic Specialists, Separate Specialists, Rex, B1 Battle Droid, Expansion Unit, Rebel Trooper Expansion, Imperial Trooper Expansion, uh, Angela and Enchantress, uh, She-Hulk, um, Riot Quest Playmat, I forgot about the Riot Quest mat, um, Monpok Pedactrix, uh, loads of the Monpok stuff, uh, commercial truck, uh, cosmic terrain pack, um, obliteration boulevard fabric mat for monpok, um, blast cutter. Um, don't know what's wrong with that one. Uh, I think that's another one we've got wrong. I'll have a look at that later. But yeah, there is so much stuff to to go through and sort out. Um, I just need to. Uh, it's. I think it's wrong. Um, it looks like it's got the wrong picture on it, mate. In fact, it has got the wrong picture on it, looking at it. So I will, um, I'll pull that one in a minute. But let's have a quick look. Is there anything else coming through that I can see? Shh. Um, nothing, nothing that's jumping out and going, look at me, look at me. I want to do X, Y, and Z. There's all patinging going on. So someone's talking to me and I can't see who. Uh, yeah. Considering the week, I am actually impressed we've managed to find the stock and put it on there, to be honest. Um... People who are close uh, do understand we've had a horrific week with doing bits and pieces, trying to get stuff sorted out, um, jumping through hoops and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we're a bit more, I'm saying we are a bit, we were a bit more settled. Uh, we had an, another issue today from uh, some loving idiot out there. Um, but... It's got to the point now where we're, we're pretty sorted. Uh, we know what's happened. We know what's going on. Um, we're, ha we're happy. We're good. I just need to reset this one. Yeah. Auction. Search. Yeah, I'll have to uh, go on that. Republic, Lover, Blasco. Yeah, oh, that's quite easy. I'll just end it. Uh, that's fi fixed. Wasn't me, can't prove it. Oh, Mark, have you been pressing buttons to make me go ping? 
You gotta remember, I know where you live, Mark. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, sorry, I'm miles away. I am going to um, have an early night. <laughs> um, I'm going to sort a couple of things out, and I'm going to chill out and po probably get some uh, listings done on eBay. So, thank you, everyone, for coming by tonight. It's been fantastic. Um Thank you for all the support, all the donations, all the tips, um, the continued subscriptions, and it may shock you, and it's going to shock the living daylights out of Mark, but we have our first um, our first lots for the patron go out this next week. Next week, um, we have nearly got the supply drops all sorted so they will be going out next week um so uh, no worries mark uh paul mark paul mark um so yeah i shall catch you all i don't think i can get anything in this weekend but if not, I will see you all next Wednesday. So thanks for watching and really take care of that.